Hi, my name is Maria Fernanda Velasquez. Uh, I live in Taipei. I study at Chichen University, New Media Communication Design. I talked with Tammy about it. I told her like we should do an exchange of um, talents, cultural. Uh, so we talked about it. We tried to to talk with different people, but everyone was. They said it was too difficult to make it happen to to bring someone from Taipei and send someone from Mexico to Taipei. So uh, that was the first. Idea, right? The second part is that knowing that Taipei will be the capital of design in 2016, we wanted to do something about it. So I came to Mexico last year and we talked with uh, Gerardo Partida, who is the director of the, of the museum. He was very excited, he was very enthusiastic about it, and so he invited Tammy. We showed him Tammy's work and he liked it, so he invited her to do the uh, the exhibition. We came. We went back to to Taipei to work on it, to plan it, to do all the pre-production. So this year, 2014, the summer, we came and we put everything. Uh, we talked with sponsors, with Coralejo Tequila Coralejo, with um, Grants, which is a, a restaurant here in Mexico and we talked with the embassy they came here and they supported they were very supportive about it uh, they also sponsored her and they came to to open the ceremony i think art is like showing the difference that people might have been through and they can feel or they can't. They cannot feel it because the difference that will, will make people impressed. When when art can impress something like influence some people by the beauty and the concept, then that's a success. But <clears throat> or because people have different type, every people has different type and some people will influence by realistic and some of will influence by like surrealistic and that's why art is so many there's so many kind of art that people can accept and that's why there is so many different art can exist I'm person which uh, what I exist is weird it's for myself sometimes sometimes I look at the mirror and I will feel that is not me. I don't know why but sometimes you will make yourself not yourself. Like you are people stand by your life and looking what's happening and to feel your life. When you have to feel your life and to be object like objective, you don't have you cannot put yourself in. And that's make me having a hard time to being myself because uh, um, and that's what I did when I having my work like creative work because uh, I'm not I'm not really a uh, like funny person I'm not <laughs> but for some some people maybe but I doubt myself all the time. Like uh, when I when I say some word, 
I will doubt myself that should I say this word or when I update a statue on Facebook and I will delete word and change the word into more elegant like to decorating myself so I doubt myself all the time as a person when you think about Asia you pretty much think about uh, trading and you think about business and you think about money economy communism or whatever but there's also another part it is the cultural part where there's also an opportunity to share and exchange um, art and exchange culture and exchange a different way of communication but being honest saying myself as an artist sometimes sounds a little bit arrogant for me but it's a way to convince yourself having a responsibility for yourself and sometimes when you deny yourself as an artist you will you will not put responsible on your work like uh, I'm not an artist so what I did is make people feel something that, that's not my problem but if you if you face yourself as an artist like an artist, you have to face everything you have done. And I, I want uh, as an as an artist. I think I'm the one who who likes to make few people that think I want to be an artist, and I like to be. I feel to be. I'm an artist that make people to think. Everything can can be possible, and I like to believe that. And uh, to to be impressed is not what what I meant to do, but to be remembered and to make feel people feel believing everything is possible. That's what I like to do. It matters if they are wet, right? Con esos. Con esos chiquitos. Sí, con esos. It's very different how they do it, how each each country works. Uh, for example, here in uh, in Taipei, it's very experimental. The university is very very experimental. You can do pretty much whatever you want, as long as you come up with with new stuff, as long as you come up with with sustainable stuff. In Mexico, I think it's a little bit more trendy. I think uh, you do your research and then you come up. It's more business focused, and here it's more experimental, artish focused. Uh, I like it very much. Both of them. I think both of them are very good. It's just uh, different. Um, I see how in both countries there. Uh, trying to support each other is a very is a this design community I think around the world it's very supportive with each other it's not like oh you copy this for me and then you copy this for me or anything it's very we share a lot in both countries I feel those kind of doors and when I first did it I was did it by myself and I'm little and I'm a woman and I'm small, but everyone can build a huge thing like this. If I can, everyone can. That's the way I want to be, the artist, to encourage it. Yeah, that's my goal. <laughs> Meeting Stardust was, the, uh, was one I heard from and photo photographer uh, Larry Size, and I met her. He, I met her at Mexico, and she told me the oh, very encouraging sentence that she told me uh, if if you have been given talent to like you have been given talent, you are gifted. You have to show it to the world. So meeting star, and she said. Everyone is stardust, and we were shining, and we will shine in the world. At that time, I <clears throat> that that's kind feat 
to my to my principle of doing work. Like I want to encourage people and I want to make something different and make people to believe in, in themselves. And the meeting started it. The words she said that everyone is a stardust is exactly what I like to feel. So that's why I give the name to this exhibition. Art for me is a is a way of expressing yourself. Uh, honestly, I don't believe it has to make it has to to exist for a better world. I, I, it doesn't have to have a purpose, but just bring something there, express something, and maybe people will feel connected about it. Um, it's a lot, it's completely about feelings and it's completely about uh, who the artist is and who, what the artist wants. You can, you can take it or you can live it, it's just like that. In this exhibition is because the everything is being colorful is because I have been here to Mexico and the color have been inspiring me is because I like to use in color but for no reason. The no reason is not everything should be given reason and everything is can be can be done like by no reason but uh, what I choose to what I choose to use the color for painting is not because for no reason it is because here is I first I first came here and I saw everything is different from our country and if I didn't see the color here I won't believe there's a part of the world that using those tones of color I've never imagined. That gives me braveness to do the colorful things I'm painting. And also when I painted, I didn't think I paint all my all my friends, all my important friends, and they are all different type, and they are all they all have different color, and they can be exist with different color, which is acceptable and everyone can be colorful, everyone can be shiny and in the painting you won't see everyone as a person their color, like they exist by color and that whole concept is like to be The process was very interesting uh, we started it uh, while we were in Taipei Tami started painting and doing all the planning for the installations. It was 30 pieces in wood with acrylic and two installations, one light installation and another it was a door installation. So those installations were produced here in Mexico. The painting, she had to do it there, but while we were there, I had to do all the planning. I had to talk to the sponsors, I had to talk with the embassy, like try to knock doors right like ask for ask for support for this uh, exhibition so it was very it was very interesting doing it while I was on the other side of the world a lot of emails calls and everything so after we came here in, to Mexico around three weeks before we opened in those three weeks we had to get all the material for the installations doors and everything that she had to do with doors, paint, painting, um, accessories for the doors, etc. And also, we had to to bring all the um, the lights for the for that installation, the strings and everything. So she had two weeks for preparation, and then we had one week for ins for installation in the museum. Uh, there was a staff who helped us there. Um, so we we in, we put everything together in I think four or five days. And while we were doing that as well, we had to talk to the press, tell them what we were doing, tell them, um, inviting them to come, and just.
try to get uh, more and more people to to come and see what we had to offer. Right? This the this door installation is first I've been doing at school, and I am having a hard time doing this because we are using different material to feeling the material to try all the structure and materials like between them and when I when I doing this installation my concept and my thought changing at first I just want to I just want to do this installation like that easy but when I when I stay in the door installation and I can close it, and when people pass by, I can go through the door, I can go in by a door, and goes out by another. I can avoid people I don't like, or, or to meet the people I like. I believed in this project because I thought it was possible. Um, once you know both cultures, and you know how difficult or how easy it could be, I think it's easier to just step up. While Tammy was creating, I had to do all the all the PR stuff to ask for sponsors, to ask for this, ask for that, move this, move that. But it was very regarding. I think it's an experience that let you know more people, let you know more of yourself and and teaches you how to how to go further. The line installation part was was absolutely feeling the stardust thing. Uh, I used the string, the string which you can, it's really, really thin that you cannot see in the light. And I used another kind of string. And it's kind of like uh, they put some uh, colors in it, the white color, like bleach, um, and use a different light with which they put bleach in. So the string, which you cannot see, with the string, with the bleach and uh, to put it together the string with the bleach will show like they are flying in the dark room and I'm using the black light to let them shine with the purple light that's the, the exactly, exactly presentation for Stardust that's the scar people have been left and you only can see them in the dark room.